Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to do a little playing today. I want to make some journaling cards and different things, but I think what I'm going to start out with is a journal card with an envelope pocket. <laughs> we'll see how that works. Now, this is one of Susan's collections. Hello, Susan. I'll put her link below, and this is also one of her collections. These were both in my stash, and I just pulled them out because I thought they would go well together. They're not even from the same collection, but I think they'll go well together. And this is my envelope, and I've just got a, let's see, this is five and three quarters by uh, almost four and a half. So it's just a regular little note card envelope. And then it doesn't matter what size tag you have. This one just happens to be three and a half by six and a quarter. So, but it doesn't matter. Use what size you have. Now I'm going to glue my tag right here on that so that it will open up. And I'll put a little tab on here. It'll open up like that. Um... I'm trying to think if I want to cover, I think I want to cover the back with something, but I think I'm going to wait until I put this down and then I'm going to cover the whole back. That way I'll have this covered too, so you won't really be able to tell the difference. And I'm going to cover my envelope just up to these little pieces right here, and I'm going to cut those off so we don't need those. So are you all doing okay today? I hope so. Hope everybody missed out on the storms. Oh, it got rough here for a little while. But and somebody said in on my video when I was talking about all the rain, somebody said that wasn't rain. That was just somebody turned a bucket over on my house. That's what it sounded like. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do the top up there and I'm just gonna mark where I need to cut that right there and so if somebody turned a bucket over on my house they really turned it over <laughs> we got lots of rain but guess what thank the good Lord above uh, and you guys praying <laughs> I had a lot of people saying I'm praying for your roof <laughs> I didn't have the first leak in my roof. Not a new one anyway. I've had that one that happened that day that the wind was really up and blowing, but I didn't have a new one. So, and it didn't even leak in that spot. So I'm very thankful for that. Uh, where's my eraser? Because I was afraid that it was going to. Now this is just something that popped straight out of my head, so I have no clue if it's going to work like I think or not. But we'll put it together and see what happens. <clears throat> it may need to be stuck right back in my head. <laughs> oh, I was thinking about it last night, believe it or not. I know you know that I, all I do is think about stuff. I can't sleep, so I just lay and think about things. And I had it on my mind to do. And when I got up today, I couldn't think of anything else except this. All right. So that's got that covered. Now, if we glue this here. Oh, yeah, that's going to go great together. Which all of her collections, they blend so well. So you should not have a problem with them at all. Now I'm hoping once I put this down, I'll be able to do what I'm thinking. But I'm going to go ahead and put it down first. Now I'm just I'm going to even the bottom up. And of course the top won't be even, but that's okay. I don't mind that at all. All right. So we've got that. Now you can cut that little tip off there if you want. I probably will. Now let's just go ahead and do it now. 
There we go. Now that'll flip open. And now I'm going to cover this right here. And I'm just going to use more scraps. I may not even I may not even have enough of one thing to cover it all. Let's see. Maybe I can cover it with that. Oh, I hate to cut my little bird up. I'm going to leave my bird on there. I think, I think, I think I can. I'd like to use up all these little pieces of paper if I can before I start something new. Oh, I wanted to cover the whole thing, didn't I? I don't know what I'm doing. It'll still cover the whole thing. Yeah, like that. And I believe we'll be able to get that butterfly on there too. So let's just do that. Let's just put glue all over and then hope hope that we can trim it off when we get through. <laughs> if we can't, we're going to have a mess. I've not made one of these before, so I don't know. I don't pre-make things. You guys know that. Let's see. Just make sure I got that up there covered. Uh, move it over. We'll slide it over this way as much as possible without getting one of the holes in there. Ooh, come on now. Don't glue down faster than I want you to. Okay. There. That was a treat. All right. Let's go ahead and fold this back up. And you should wait till it dries to fold it back up, but I'm going to fold mine anyway. But if you're doing this at home, just wait till it dries. Don't try this at home. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> Don't try this at home. Oh, me. You ever have one of those nights when you sleep so hard and have so many crazy dreams that when you wake up, you feel like you're in a daze and you, you're tired and your bones ache and it's like, what in the world did I do during my sleep? Run a race or something? I had one of those last night. Not before last, I didn't sleep but a couple of hours. And then I guess my body just said, well, you didn't sleep very much, so tonight we're going to crash. And I did, and I slept so hard. I woke up two or three times just feeling like somebody had run over me. And I had some of the craziest dreams. So let me know if you ever have those nights or not. Or if I'm <laughs> or if I need to seek <laughs> professional advice. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that. So see then we've got a pocket here. And then we've got our tag here, and we can journal all on here. And you can put another little journaling card in here. Now, I'm not going to cover the back, because what I'm going to do with this is, and let's just, let's see. Let's just grab this and show, have a page here so that we can show how this would go down. Let's just say we were putting it on this page. What I will do is glue down through here on the back side, down through here, and down through here. So that'll be glued down. And then this will flip over, and then I'll have another tuck spot under here. Whoops, you can't even see me. Isn't that wonderful? So I will glue, I'll put glue here, here, and here. And I'll glue it down like that, okay? Then this will flip over. And I'll have a little tuck under here, and then that will open up. You'll have journaling space, and then you'll have another little pocket here. I love that. I love it. Okay, so we're going to put a little ink here. I think I might make a few more of these. They're really simple if you've got just, and you can just have a scrap envelope. You don't have to have one of these. I just happened to have this one laying in my stash, and I thought, mm, I'll go ahead and use it. Now I'm going to put a little tab right here just to show that that opens up. And let's see. I am going to just use this piece right here, I think, to make a little tab. 
And no, I don't know where you can get that punch. Sorry. They are have been discontinued a long, long time. And I try to say that every time I use it because somebody always asks, where did you get that punch? I got it from Stamp It Up, Stamp it up many years ago. And they discontinued it and they are not won't bring it back even though many many people would purchase it if they would but I don't think they brought it back yet that I know of maybe there's some stamp it up dealers out there that might know a little bit different but I don't think they have brought it back that I know of my daughter would like to have one too but she I won't let her have mine <laughs> All right, that's a little blendy, that uh, tab there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put something on it so it doesn't look like it blends in so much. I should have chose a different color. All right, I have that little tiny, tiny piece of lace right there. This is the last of that vintage lace that one of you sent me. I love it so much, and I have savored it. And this is the last piece I have. I'm going to put that right there. I think it'll help keep it from looking so blendy. You'll be able to see that tab. I should have made it a different color. And you'll still be able to see what's underneath. There we go. That worked great. So there's our little tab. Now this has already got butterfly here, so I don't want to put any other labels on that part I don't think I'll put a label in here because I'm gonna leave this for journaling I'll probably put some kind of label here though and I do want to punch out just a little pull right there that will um, just help know that that's a pocket and I hate to punch like this because I never know how deep I'm going okay now, you see, my paper only went down this far, and let me go ahead and glue this down. So I'll show you a little trick. A little trick. Okay. So this paper is white underneath, and I don't want that to be white exactly. So I'm going to take this little tab that I just punched out, and I'm going to glue it right back down there. In that spot and you say well why in the world are you gluing it back down because you still you can't see that you have a tab there yeah you can because I'm gonna put a little ink around that and see you can see that I have a little opening there but yet it covered up that white so don't throw your little tabs away you can use them let me put junior back over there that's our junk journal. All right, so we want something here and then something. I may want a little number on the front. So let, and I did make this folder. I, I usually have people ask that too, so I try to head off the, as many questions as possible. Um, I made this folder. It's a ephemera folder. All of the links to my ephemera folders are down below. There's one link and it's a playlist. So you can go over and check those out if you want. I think I might actually put that color on there. These numbers are from Tina Shabby Dabby Doodah. I love her numbers. You know I like my numbers anyway. I don't think I'll just put that right there. Okay. That little number on. Now, I think all I'm going to do on the inside here is put some kind of label here. Okay, I'm going to grab one of Katie's labels. These are on our blog. They're, they're a freebie. So you can go over and grab those. All you have to do is go to my our store page and then you will just click on the little title on the left hand side that says blog and it'll take you right to the blog where all of these freebies are. 
I don't know if this one particularly is in the freebie or not, but I know some of the others are. I think I'm just going to put that down. I know the light, regular labels are. And she gave us a bunch of background pages. So you can grab those. You could actually use those background pages that she gave us in your um, Just Journal January next week when we make the pages on the inside of the journal. Let's see. We might want a little butterfly on here. Let's see if we have a tiny butterfly. And she did this little journal here for me, but I, I did one in a video. If you want to also look at that playlist. Maybe we'll do a bird since we have butterflies everywhere. We might just do a bird. He can be sitting on that leaf right there. Do we want that one? Or this one that's got a little yellow in him. Oh, I think that one shows up a little better, doesn't it? And there's some yellow over here. So we'll put this little bird down. Now she pre-cut all of these for me. Wasn't that sweet? I have a hard time um, fussy cutting. My hand shakes so much. <laughs> and I when I grip the scissors for so long, it's like my wrist that I have broken so many times. They kind of freeze up on me, so I have a hard time fussy cutting. But she cut all these out for me and sent them to me. I love that. My little label's a little crooked, but that's okay. I love that. All right. What else? Do I want to do anything else? I think I might want to put a little piece of lace right here. Or that would kind of show, stick out and show. Now, I got my package of lace today from our sister site. And Cindy, our admin, runs that site. She has all of her beautiful vintage laces over there. I don't even remember ordering some of these. Cindy, did you send me extra? <laughs> but they're beautiful. Look at that. Look at these. They're so pretty. And see, I'm really bad. You guys, if y'all don't go over there and order it, when I go over there and I see there's 10 yards left, I just go, send me the rest of it, send me the rest of it. <laughs> I'm too bad. I love lace. Um, I'm thinking. So all of this came off there. These little doilies. The vintage doilies. Everything. So go over there and check it out. I'll leave the link below. Um... She sells all kinds of goodies over there. I'm thinking I might want. And she takes time to package these up so pretty. Cindy, you're a, you're a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful friend, young lady. All right. I think I'm going to put that there. I like that. Oops. My lights are going dark because I've got some glare here. So let's pull the glare out so you can see. My camera likes to darken up when there's glare in the screen. It's trying to save its eyes, I guess. That's beautiful. And I was almost out of this. Um, I had ordered some of this, similar to this from her before, I think, and I just about run out. I love a cotton lace. I guess that's what you call this. That's what I call it anyway. Very vintagey. It's very soft. So I'll have to put all of this on my little, as Benji calls them, bones, lace bones. Even though it's packaged up very pretty, I still think I'm going to put it on my little lace holders. Let's see, I want that to pull that down a little bit more. I want that to stick out a little bit. Oh yeah, I like that. It still look, looks a little bit off, doesn't it? Let's pull it out a little bit more. There we go. Cute. So then that'll be glued down. This will pop open. Have journaling space here. And then we'll need to make a card to go in here. So let's just go ahead and make one. While we are making. Let's see if I've got another scrap. Well, I do have another scrap right here that's just about the right size to go in there. 
Um, it's from a different collection as well, but it's one of Cindy's papers, so I think I'm going to use this. I am going to put some kind of backing on it, though, to make it a little stiffer, because I like my tags to be stiff, so that when I start to put them in the pocket, they don't bend or anything like that. So I always try to make them a little bit stiffer. So let's see if this is wide enough. Oh, yeah. This is just the backing off of a, an ephemera pack, and I save all of those. I don't throw any of them away. They're all in my drawer over here. That's why my drawers weigh like 500 pounds. <laughs> you have to really pull to open them because they're so heavy. Okay. And this has a bird on it, but it's going to be on the inside of the pocket until you pull it out, so it's not going to matter. Not going to make a difference. Trim that off. I'll save that for a little beauty tag. I told you I'm a saver. Okay. Now, I think I'll just round the corners, but I'm going to go ahead and cover the back. And again, I'm going to use one of these old, this is uh, out of an old book, I think, I do believe. I think that is. I'm not sure if that's out of an old book or if somebody sent that to me. It looks like a handmade paper, so... But it's the first thing I put my hands on, so that's what we're going to use. You can write on it. That's what matters. And I will probably stitch around these. You don't have to, but I, I like that look, so. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a handmade paper that one of you guys might have sent to me. I use everything. Don't think that you send me something and I don't use it. I do. I use everything. Guess what it's time for? It's time for girls to start calling or texting. I don't know which one that was. Okay, so there's a little card. I like that. That feels good on the back. Go ahead and ink around it a little bit. And yeah, I think I'll just tuck it in and not put any kind of topper or anything on there because it's just about the right size. And with it tucked in like that, that little flower shows there, so that's cute. I will definitely be making more of these. Oh, I need to put a little topper on top of this. Let's see, what do we have? I have some tabs that are already cut here. Let's see if we have one that will go. I don't think I wanna go with just plain. We could go with that, the green. Oh, that would be pretty. Let's do that one. Oh, I can't pick it up. I clipped my fingernails again because they keep breaking on me. And my hairstylist said that it was just part of the grief and the tension and worry and whatever, stress. So my fingernails are breaking, my hair's breaking off. <laughs> So it's like, so I have to keep them cut pretty short or they split on me and they break back into the quick if I do anything that, you know, like open a box, they're not tough enough to take it. All right. There we go. That on there. That's cute. I like that. And you know what? <laughs> I don't want it to stop. I think I want to go one more level. Grab my little tiny hole punch. 
I could put an eyelid in there, but I think I'm just going to do this. Just going to punch a little tiny hole there. And then I'm going to grab one of my little bulb clips. I think I might use the green one. And I need a little charm to hang on there. Right, I think I'll hang this little charm on there and it just says love. I need one of those little circle things. I don't know what you call them now. My mind's blank. To put in there first. So that my little charm will hang flat. But I don't have one of those right here that I know of. There we go. It hangs flat. All right. So that is it. That is our video for today. I hope you enjoyed that. It was just something that I wanted to do. It was something that was on my mind. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and do it with everybody. Maybe they want to make one too. And like I said, you do not have to have the, the regular envelope. You can use junk mail envelopes. Use whatever you have in your stash. They will work just fine. Not a problem. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. We'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you would, please hit that subscribe button, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.